Hello there, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery with yet another award-winning instalment for you. Okay, I'm going to have a bit of a yarn uh, now about home building because we're seeing quite a bit of this uh, over the years. And what is amazing uh, is the consistency of the stories I see coming out of home building. And I want to focus on just a few issues for you people who are doing residential uh, work and where your customer is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. All right? Now, the biggest problem is contractors are not keeping this as a business relationship, all right? I think it's because you're in a residential setting, you're not on a big project, you're at a house, Mrs. Smith is making you a cup of tea and cookies and it's all very friendly and you start to become friends. And when you become friends, you start to do jobs for free, you start to do little, just to show how nice you are, you start to buy things at trade price so you're not making any profit on it, etc., etc. That's all very fine and good. But what happens is at the end of the job, Mrs. Smith assumes her true form, which is a blood-sucking beast from hell, all right? And Mr. Smith gets his brother-in-law, the lawyer, to come out and chew you out, and your last two payments aren't getting paid. And this lovely, lovely couple have now got you pinned to the ground and are eating your liver and feeding them to the passing uh, wildlife, all right? I see it all the time. Now, you need to understand it's a business relationship, Take the cu uh, cups of coffee and tea in good grace, but they are your customer. Let's just get that very clear. They're your customer, they're not your friend, and you don't do any favours other than what's the contract. The contract is the agreement, and that's what you do. Now, because uh, too many contractors allow themselves to have this friendly personal relationship, here are the reasons for non-payment that I get coming out of residential building. I'm getting a divorce, all right? I can't pay you, I'm getting a divorce. I can't pay you, my boyfriend and I are having a fight. All right, now, with all due respect to Mrs. Smith, who gives a fuck, okay? No one, you don't, you've done the work, that's the contract, I'd love to hear about your personal life, tell it to your friends, I'm just the guy putting in the new kitchen, all right? That's how it's gotta be, guys, all right? Um, too many uh, contractors go, oh, she's going through a rough time, oh, well, you know, maybe I'll, I won't push for payment now, it's not really good form. No, it is good form. Contract says every month, get paid. I don't find any uh, personal distress clauses in uh, residential contracts or Department of Fair Trading contracts. I don't see the divorce clause anywhere. I don't see the bad boyfriend clause. I don't see the can't see my kids clause. I don't see any of that. And I certainly don't have the brother-in-law as a solicitor who's gonna kill you clause. None of that applies. And you've just gotta keep a clear head and a clear focus that you're providing this work for this agreed price, and uh, there's no personal hardship clauses in there. I mean, you can't go to your client and go, I'm getting a divorce, uh, my father-in-law's uh, dying of cancer in hospital, so uh, I just won't do any work for you. That's not gonna fly, so why should it fly the other way around? All right, now I hope I've made this point as strongly as I possibly can, because this is, amazingly, the number one reason for not for reasons for non-payment in residential is the customer carrying on with their life story to the contractor and the contractor's eating it up, all right? Don't, you have a contract, especially residential work, you're required to have a contract, OFT contract or some kind of contract, you're required to have it, that's the relationship. And if it says this work for this much money, you do the work, you get the money, that's it. All right, now I hope, uh, I hope you're gonna to start to uh, take that on board. If you've got any queries or questions, give us a call, number should be on the screen, and I will see you next time.